Hi guys, once again I'm going to try to help you to decide between two phones. Today that would be the Nexus 5X and the Samsung Galaxy A5 2016. People just want to know what is their best bang for their buck and what fits their needs the best. And since they are quite similar in terms of price, I would say this is a legit comparison. Okay, design and build quality. Here I have to give the win definitely to the A5 2016. It feels a lot rounder, more organic, very compact and super premium in the hand. Also with the fingerprint reader on the front on the home button. but the Nexus 5X doesn't feel bad, it just doesn't feel as comfortable, it just doesn't feel as premium, but for the price it gets the job done, but if you want the more premium feel and you just want to feel like you have gotten more for your money, then the A5 is the winner. Now in terms of display, it's always a little bit of a concern for many people to go for an AMOLED because the screen quality will diminish over time, but if that's no concern for you, I still would say the A5 makes the way better job because it's an amazing display, very clear, very sharp, great color calibration, of course you have the different profiles, but in overall it was an impressive screen and that could have easily been also the flagship screen on the S7 and I would have had no problems because really really nice flagship level display where the 5x does a solid job but just can't impress nearly as on the a5 we have ips glow the blacks aren't as deep colors are a little bit washed out it is a solid still high quality display and you can tweak it if you use a custom color and so on but out of the box the a5 definitely knows to impress a lot more if you aren't someone who has an issue with the amoled display now in terms of sound and I have to give the win also as well to the A5 2016 because it sounded just a little bit rich. I didn't really sound super loud either. The A3 for some reason did a better job here. The Nexus 5X has the advantage of this on the speaker on the front or on the top, but it couldn't really make too much of a advantage of that because it sounds a little bit flat and just not loud. So both are quite similar, but if I would have to choose despite not being on the front, I would still give the win to the A5 2016. No performance though is where the 5X definitely knows to shine because it is very smooth of course with two gigabytes it's not quite as capable in terms of multitasking as some three gigabyte devices but as for right now the two gigabytes are okay you have some reloads still here and there but it performs super snappy super smooth where the a5 loses a little bit out because it's noticeably more laggy especially on some apps that was just noticeable it's just not super fluid multitasking is also a little bit less than on the 5x it still overall performs okay but if it would have performed like the a3 2016 then i would have said the comparison between those two is not necessary anymore because the overall better phone then for me would have been in terms of bang for your buck the a5 2016 but if performance is an issue for you and you want the best one then you should go for the 5x in terms of battery life though wow 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 the a5 is one of the best phones that I've ever used in terms of battery life. I could get easily six hours plus even in mixed use. At home I could even reach like eight hours of screen on time. So the battery life is absolutely impressive and in some terms almost double as what the 5X knows to deliver because that one gets around in mixed use four hours of screen time, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less. So you see it's decent, it's okay, but the A5 is amazing. Now, software. That will be quite an easy choice for a lot of people. Either you want stock Android, you want the fastest updates, or you want a little bit more functionality, more capabilities, theming options and all that. But with the benefit or in the disadvantage of slower updates, a little bit more bloat and definitely a little bit of a uh, crapped down system in terms of performance. It is sometimes noticeable, but I personally don't see the new touch base of 2016 to be an issue anymore. It was quite fluid, didn't really handle multitasking any worse than some other phones so i think it's okay and if once again i said it on the other comparison as well with a phone like this if you want just the out of the box better capabilities more functions more settings more options then touch with is the one to go for but if you want a cleaner minimalistic just gets what it has to do system then the stock android wins but if i would have personally to choose these days i would go for more functionality but if you want to use a custom ROM, then the 5X, of course, wins hands down with way more options than anything else. Now, what the rest, the rest would be the camera. I guess I have to give the win to the 5X here. It is still for me a top three flagship camera, super crisp pictures, great video capabilities, just an easy shooter. You don't really have to think about, you don't really have to tinker a lot and you get great results. The five, uh, the Nexus, um, sorry, the Samsung Galaxy A5 though does a really good job because the selfie camera was really nice, the video qualities were nice, okay, we didn't have 4K, something like that, but it was still great. 
And for the price range, absolutely, totally solid, but just not on the same level as the 5X. So who's which phone for? If you want something that is a little bit more stylish, if you want something with a little bit more options, definitely want a more premium feeling phone that feels like you would gotten more for your money and a better, more high quality display, slightly better sound and overall that, then the winner would be the A5. That would be the better choice for you. But if you want to stay more minimalistic, don't need the best display, don't need the best in-hand feel, but therefore work one stock Android, fastest updates, a super solid camera. So if that's really important for you, it is the win. But you also have to consider the battery life, which makes a huge difference. We have almost have double on the A5 that could already make or break the difference. So I don't think there's anything wrong with either phones. The only issue that I have with the A5 is the performance that just wasn't nearly on the level on the 5X. And the 5X just doesn't have the best screen sound and battery life. So you have to weigh what's more important for you. I think the best bang for your buck and more quality feel would be the A5. But if you want a just solid, capable phone that gets the job done without any asking, then the 5X could be your choice. So I hope this helped. And if you have any questions, just leave them down below. If you like this video, thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like these, just subscribe to the channel. And I wish you a nice day. See you next time. Bye.